myself Mr. Pratish Chitte working as an assistant professor in mechanical engineering department in Walchan Minister of Technology Sodapur. Today we are discussing the pros and cons of additive manufacturing or also we can say that the advantages and the disadvantages or maybe the benefits and the limitations of the additive manufacturing with respect to the industrial applications in the course 3D printing. Up till now what we have discussed? In the first session we have discussed the introduction of the additive manufacturing. What is the relationship between industry 4.0 and the additive manufacturing? In the second session we have discussed what is the need of additive manufacturing? The need of additive manufacturing we have discussed with respect to the product life cycle management cycle with conventional and additive manufacturing concepts. In third session we have discussed the methodologies and the steps of the additive manufacturing. In today's session we are discussing the pros and cons of additive manufacturing. So what the students will learn? So the students will be able to describe the pros and cons of additive manufacturing. These are the content. First we will discuss what we have discussed in the last session and after that the pros and cons of the additive manufacturing. So in the last session we have discussed the methodologies in additive manufacturing. We will have very quick review of the steps of the additive manufacturing. Mainly there are the three steps of additive manufacturing or the three methodologies of additive manufacturing. The first one that is the pre-processing, second one that is processing where there will be the development of the product and the post-processing that is the main process in the additive manufacturing. In the pre-processing we have to develop a 3D CAD model that we are providing to the additive manufacturing machine tool with the help of different CAD softwares. Sometimes what will happen like some of the 3D model that we are not able to develop with the help of CAD software which are very much complex, very much minute or the intricate. In that case we can use the 3D scanner or the 3D scanning process and so that the CAD digital data that we can have it and we can provide it to the machine tool. We have to validate or we have to optimize the design. Directly we can't provide the CAD model to the machine tool. We have to validate. So we can use computer aided engineering or finite element analysis so that we can validate the data. After that we have to customize the design. What is meant by customization? We have to provide a particular format for the 3D CAD model. For example, maybe if suppose we have developed a 3D CAD model in Katia, so the format of the file will be .cat part. So that we can't provide it to the machine tool or add it to manufacturing machine tool. There should be the specific file format. For example, .stl format mostly that is used that is standard tessellation language. After that we have to arrange the parts with respect to the build plate. We have to machine set up. So what may be the layer thickness? What should be the pattern of the raster? What is the support structure that we have to generate for the end product? In the processing, after setting the machine, the proper selection of the parameters that we are providing, the 3D model that is really developed in the CAD software that is provided in the machine tool and after that the end product that is developed with the help of layer by layer approach. There may be the use of different types of materials that may be the thermoplastic or maybe the metal or maybe the powder. After development of the product which consists of the end product and the support structure. To remove the support structure to provide the proper surface finish there is a requirement of the post processing processes. In the substructure manufacturing process or the conventional manufacturing process definitely we can say that there will not be any requirement of the post processing. But here in the additive manufacturing yes definitely there is a use of post processing. 
so what are the different post processing process for example we have to provide the surface finish some of the heat treatment processes we have to use for example we have to use curing maybe the quenching or annealing these heat treatments we have to use it we have to remove the support structure with the help of some of the applications like or the applicants like pliers definitely we have to improve the aesthetic so that the customer should have the satisfaction so these are the steps in the additive manufacturing now we are discussing today the advantages and the disadvantages of the additive manufacturing there are some of the advantages like the complexity for the free simplification of the part fixturing reducing the turnaround time mass customization always we are saying the mass production but and the customization process but together that we can provide it with the help of additive manufacturing integrated components the component will be single the sub components will not be there in the particular end product material freedom definitely we can use the material maybe it may be a metal or maybe the non metal or the thermoplastic yes we can use it but with respect to the conventional processes definitely there is a limitations with respect to the material that we have to use it logistic freedom means how we are importing the different the import file or maybe the input file to the machine tool yes we are having the freedom and definitely the additive manufacturing most of the time is saying that that is a green technology now we will discuss these points in detail in the next slide the first point that is complexity for the free there is a graph that you can see it here on the left side that is on the y axis there is a unit cost on the x axis there is a complexity whenever we are taking the case of the conventional machine tool if suppose we have to develop the complex components there is a we can call it as there is a increment in the cost per unit because of the use of the higher end technology machine tools the different raw materials we have to use different types of tooling we have to use there will be the costing the product cost that will be increased with respect to the complexity or maybe the customization process but in additive manufacturing any type of material or the we are having definitely the material freedom also the tools that we have to use it in the additive manufacturing that will be the same in any type of that is fixed in the additive manufacturing machine tools so cost per unit it may not differ whenever it is going through the different types of complexity or the customization so that is the difference between the conventional manufacturing and the additive manufacturing with respect to the complexity or the customization after that simplification of the part fixing in the conventional processes if suppose this is your product and you have to fix the particular base plate this particular base plate definitely you will require maybe some of the fixture like this and you can provide some of the operations now you want to provide the operation on this particular surface so what you have to do you have to just rotate that particular the product you have to invert that particular product and another fixture you have to uh, fixed so that you can hold that particular the below part so the fixturing the different types of fixtures we have to use it in the conventional processes but in case of additive manufacturing definitely we can say that there will not be the use of any type of fixtures to hold the workpiece there are different types of platforms or the built up platforms with the help of which we can hold the workpiece reduce turnaround time or we can call as there is a definitely the shorter lead time whenever we are providing the 3d model to the additive manufacturing machine tool immediately there will be the development of 
we can call it as the end product with respect to the support structure immediately so the sh definitely we can say that in the additive manufacturing machine tool there is a short lead time between the two processes that is computer aided design and the manufacturing mass customization there are the two things that is mass production definitely there will not be the customization but the customization cost will be higher the price per unit cost will be low but in case of mass customization we can have we can have we can call that the the customization cost will be lower and the unit per cost will be also lower that is the case of mass customization and that is only possible with the help of additive manufacturing process in additive manufacturing process the component that is developed will have a single body there will not be any spring nut or the bolt that is provided in the component different types of materials like the thermoplastic the metal non metal joining of the two dissimilar metal yes we can provide it in the additive manufacturing process to import the 3d model into the machine which is very much simple not the complex and always we are saying that additive manufacturing is a group is a green technology with reduced material wastage these are the some of the disadvantages yes initial investment is very much higher sometimes we are not getting some of the mechanical properties maybe the strength or maybe the ductility or maybe the deformation process it requires the post processing so some of the time that we will require in the additive manufacturing for the post processes the shape of or the built up of the machine tool it is the limitation highest limitation it may be a 350 by 350 by 350 mm so that is the built up size that you can develop that is a a big disadvantage in the additive manufacturing always there is a development of the stair stepping effect whenever we are developing the product yes this is a pattern that we want to develop but some of the stairs some of the steps that is developed again we have to remove these stairs or the steps with the help of post processing again it will require the time so what are the pros and the cons of the 3d printing just think about this these are the references thank you